What are you, uh, what you doing? What are you doing out here? I'm here to just uh, let my voice be heard that uh, we need to increase the taxes on the highest earners in America by at least 5 to 10 percent. I believe we need to stop the wars in the Middle East. I believe that we need to basically extricate ourselves from those wars and go back to a more of an isolation of foreign policy. And I believe that we ought to take the revenue saved and gain from increase in taxes and from uh, lessening the wars to reinvest in America, reinvest in education. I think we need to take a lot of steps to increase democracy as it should be. Do you think this um do you think this Occupy movement is uh is is having a lot more effect than um previous uh movements kind of trying to reach the same goals? I really don't think that it will have any effect, to tell you the truth. I think that it will just get swept under the rug like every other, just about every other movement. Uh, I really don't think it will have any effect. You don't think, um, uh, what, do you th what do you think about, um, you know, this, uh, this being disseminated over things like YouTube instead of um, using uh, traditional, you know, media? Well, I think that one of the great things about technology that we have now is that you can speak to the entire world and if they care enough about what you're saying, they're going to tune into it. They can tune into it. And you can project your message practically for free. And I think that that's really an unprecedented time in human history, I believe. Not only that, but the information that you can gain from online. I mean, literally, we have all the information in the world that's accessible in, uh, within a, a search on the internet. So I, I think that uh, that's one thing that you've seen in the Middle East and what you're seeing now is that people are people are branching out and they're reaching each other through technology. Sir, you, you would say it's, there really is no excuse for complacency anymore. Well, I mean, everybody has a right to, to do whatever they do. And if they think that you know that they, if they want to be apathetic, then they're entitled to be apathetic. But people also, you know, on the flip side, have a right to come out and do, you know, what I'm doing, what these people are doing, and, and, and you know, exercise their free speech, exercise their first amendment. Do you think, um, do you think apathy has kind of become the status quo these days? I would say that that's fair to say, yeah, because, I mean, there's a very small minority of people out here right now, and, I mean, you know, there's all these people that, you know, nobody's really, I mean, this is a very small percentage of people, and I, I think that, I think for the most part, people are so inundated with their financial situation, with work, uh, with entertainment, and sports, and media, and things like that, that for the most part, um, you almost don't have any time left. To, uh, to like did you have a do you have a job to get back to? Uh, actually, I took off for the rest of the day. Took off. Yeah. <laughs> so I could uh, come make my voice be heard. Cool.